Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to quickly go through and set up a user pool, which will allow us to create, assign, and manage user access to our AppStream stacks. And currently, you'll notice in my console here, there are no users created in this region. So I can go ahead and start by creating a user. So let's click Create. Most importantly is the email address because all of the details and the instructions and the URL will be sent to the user on how to access AppStream via that email. So here we'll put James at Masters of dot cloud. First name James, last name Scanlon. And we click create user. And that's the first user that we've created in our AppStream 2.0 user pool. We'll wait for that to complete. And there we go, the user is created. You can see the email account there is, is available and the status of that account is enabled. I should be getting a, an, a welcome email to that account. So let me go and check my email and confirm it's, it's arrived. And if we take a look here, you can see here's the welcome email. It gives me a temporary password of what I can log in with to the AppStream login page. Uh, and, and the email address to log in with. So if we copy the login page link, paste it into our address bar, and I can log in with my email and the password, the temporary password that it assigned me in the email. And we should find if we log in, there's no resources available for this account once we provide a new password for this account. There we go. And you'll note that I haven't assigned any apps or anything for this user yet. So at the moment, the user can't do anything other than log in to a blank web page. If we go now back to the console and we just have a quick look at some of the actions that we can perform on the user account, we click actions. You'll note that we can assign a stack and we don't have any stacks yet. So we can't assign a stack to the user. You can unassign a stack and you can disable the user account. So thanks very much for joining for this quick video. Join us for the next series of videos when we go through and create images, fleets and stacks. Thank you.